Let's start off with the first, and that would be the ACC. Now, the way that the bracket sets up here uh, is a little little crazy because, of course, we start games on Tuesday with the ACC. Then you move into second round, and then you've got the teams that all had buys on Thursday. Uh, Duke is the one seed, Miami the four seed, Notre Dame the two seed, North Carolina the three seed. The ones that I have on this, that I have gone on and put down my bets on, I went ahead and took North Carolina at plus 800, and I took Miami at plus 1,200. Now, Miami is playing, uh, they are the four seed, and they would end up having to play against Duke in Barclays. Obviously, that's not uh, ideal, but once you get through Duke, uh, you've already you've already had Notre Dame and North Carolina. And whatnot. You, you could handle one of those in the next one. It, you've only got to win uh, against Wake Forest, Pitt, or uh, Boston College in order to get to the Duke game. I think Miami, plus 1,200, they have shown that they can play really well away from home. I like Miami a lot. And North Carolina is, I don't know that there's a team in the ACC that's been playing better than them down the stretch other than Duke. And they just handled Duke in Coach K's you know final game at uh, uh, Cameron Indoor. So I, you know, those two seem like uh, pretty reasonable bets, especially at plus 800, plus 1200. Uh, is there anybody else that you're looking at here? You know, Notre Dame, well, what, maybe? What are, yeah. I was going to say, what are Notre Dame's odds? Because that was the team that I was looking at also. But I, it wouldn't be Duke. It's not Shaw. But it's going to be one of those three. I don't like anybody else in the ACC. This is a down year for the ACC. I am, uh, let's see, I'm looking at the ACC right now. Notre Dame is plus 800. So same as North Carolina. Yeah, yeah I, could, I, would, I think I'd take Notre Dame over North Carolina only because I think North Carolina might be just coming off such a big high. Um, that I think they're they're poised to get got. It's entirely possible. Um, and, then, would, and then I just don't like the idea of chalk. So I think North Carolina, I mean uh, Notre Dame has has in my eyes, you know, I, I, I like that. I'll take that. Well, Notre Dame is the two seed for a reason, right? I mean, they are, yeah. it, but a two seed at plus eight hundred seems a little crazy. They've got Duke at minus one fifty, well, yeah. and, and I think the reason for that is because it's Coach K's last ACC tournament. You know, that well, is yeah, that's not a guarantee. Right. Everybody, every. Every Chalk fan in the world and every Duke fan in the world are going to lay large sums of money on Coach K and Duke. That's it. That this is this is just betting against that. And I'll tell you this: I I might take North Carolina because we think North Carolina and and uh, Notre Dame are going to play one another for the championship game, right? The way the bracket shapes up. Uh, well, the way that it shapes up, North Carolina and Notre Dame would play each other. It, it would be Duke against uh, Notre Dame or North Carolina. For the championship. Okay, so so if, if we kind of get chalk, if I don't believe in anyone else, if you're betting on Miami, Miami's got to get through Duke and then get through one of North Carolina or the rain. I think I would rather make a wager on both at plus 800. If I get eight to one odds, I'm basically getting four to one odds betting on uh, North Carolina or uh, Notre Dame. Oh, you got a point there. You do have so a point. I would there. take. I would take. I would take that. Is what I would. I would rather do because I do think the winner of that game is winning it, and I think those odds, or even if they don't win it, I just think the odds of four to one are just too good to pass up. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.